with this showers coming to the coast late this afternoon. Kind of a neat look from our Astoria column sky cam. You see those showers cruising by and there's a nice little peak of the sun there. Look at that showers here, showers out there. Still a fairly dramatic sky with this unstable air mass that we have. Meanwhile, up in the Cascades, yes, those are snowflakes. They are still in the air. There has been six inches of new snow today. It's 24 degrees at Timberline. I know it's almost May, but Powder day tomorrow yet again. It's going to be a good one. Now, if you're looking for signs of spring, look no farther than the grasslands, fields, meadows and pastures of the Willamette Valley in it, all of its bucolic beauty. Can you use bucolic when you're talking about sheep? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's lambing season down the valley and there's a great shot from Tony Morrell of a couple of lambs with their mama out there. So again, even with the cold, wet weather, there are signs of spring all around 4.4, uh, 54 inches of rain in Portland this month, making it the sixth wettest April on record. We only need a few more hundreds to reach the fifth wettest, so a top five finish is pretty much in the bag. And our wettest April ever is within reach. We're less than three quarters of an inch away from that. And there's a good soaker coming our way Friday night and Saturday, which may get us over the finish line there. All right, today, 58. The average is 65 now. So those averages have really climbed. Doppler radar showing the snow showers in the Cascades. This is clutter now over the valley here. There's really not much going on, but there are showers still coming in offshore. So while tomorrow will be drier than today, we'll have more in the way of sun breaks, which will last longer. There will still be a few showers, especially around the middle of the afternoon. Seven hundredths of an inch of rain at Portland, but look at Troutdale, like five miles away, and they more than tripled the amount that we had at the Portland Airport as the showers just kind of focused over that area. Seventeen hundreds over at Hillsborough and over on the Oregon coast, about a quarter to a third of an inch. We've got this batch of high clouds moving over us right now. It's going to help keep us a little bit warmer than we otherwise would be, but still a chilly night on the way. That's going to move out just a little high pressure. Then we're going to get another system coming in on Thursday to give us more vigorous and more numerous showers, kind of like today. But after that, we get dry, warm weather on Friday, and then we get that stronger storm coming in Friday night and Saturday. So tomorrow, a few speckles of rain here and there. I don't think the showers will be all that widespread, but they will be on Thursday with that next system coming our way and then a stronger, more intact system coming in on Friday night, late Friday night. But that's after a fairly sunny and warm Friday. All right, 42 in the morning tomorrow, then 54 at noon. A few showers in the afternoon and sunset tomorrow is at 813. So long range pattern beginning to show some interesting changes. So more showers on Thursday, as I mentioned. Here's that system coming along for heavy rain Friday night and Saturday morning. Still dry on Sunday, looks good. Another system on Monday, but after that, things change a little bit. This is more of a southerly flow, which may bring us warmer weather towards the middle and end of next week. Some indications we could get close to 80 for the first time this year. But it is also, depending on how it sets up, the kind of pattern that could bring a lot of thunderstorms to the northwest, too. So we'll have to wait and see exactly how that one plays out. 49 right now, freezing level 4,400 feet. All right, then. Partly sunny tomorrow, just a few showers here and there with a high of 58. A little cooler on Thursday, a little warmer Friday, a little cooler Saturday, and still nice on Sunday. So again, about every other day, we get some decent weather. But it should be good for the PTFC for peace tomorrow night at Providence Park. That charity match among the Timbers and Thorns. You had us at 80. I knew you were going to latch <laughs> onto that.